So we've been working on the boat for a few days in the yard now and figure I'd give you guys a little update on what's going on. Sierra's been sanding away down in this hull, redoing the whole interior. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing. <coughs> How's she look? Good. Almost ready for paint. Did you explain what you did already? What you're doing already? So we accidentally added another project to our list. Our vinyl that covered this whole hull was getting really moldy and water was getting back there from somewhere so we decided to rip it all out and this is what we have now. We also had to rip it out anyways to access the chain plate and half of it was already ripped up from the previous owner drilling this probably to access the water tank so it was already a mess. We got rid of all these things while I was at it. Well this was all wood trim. Those are the chain plate bolts but <laughs> I can't even get to the chain plate anyway. Because from that side, you don't see the chain plate. And from this side, you don't see the chain plate. So the chain plate's like sandwiched between these two bulkheads or beams or whatever. So hopefully when we're ready to replace it, we can just undo these bolts and force it straight out, slide it straight out. I don't know how easy that's gonna go. We also might be able to heat up the bolts and that'll melt the epoxy enough to uh, soften it to, to pull it out. So what are we doing instead of vinyl on these walls? Just paint. Just paint. Just simplifying everything. The biggest pain in the butt was that the vinyl was stapled with about thousands of staples and I had to pick each one out. And then the glue, the foam was glued to the normal wall. So now I have glue everywhere. All that pink stuff is glue that I have to somehow get off. Good job. And I've been doing a few little projects here and there. It rained this morning, so I worked inside a bit. But look what I found. Come with me. I'll show you. I'll show you what I found. Over the summer, when we were doing the interior, I cut out a little hole in this area right below the window because we had a little soft wood um, I think because water was just leaking in the window a little bit um, it wasn't bad just like right in this area but when I did that I saw something hidden in here now I just cut an even bigger hole to access it so I can cut it out but look it's a whole water tank. A big, heavy stainless steel water tank that wasn't hooked to anything. Um, mostly empty, a little bit of water left in there, like that much, but it's just sitting in there, not doing anything. A little bit rusty on the inside, but uh, I'm cutting the whole thing out now just to get to get that weight off the boat. It's pretty heavy. This is one, this is the top piece I cut out. Well, it's got a whole plate on it and everything, but this thing weighs like, I'll be, about 15, 20 pounds. Pretty heavy, so this whole water tank's gonna be pretty pretty heavy, a good chunk of weight. Get it off the boat, and then we'll probably just seal this area up and leave it empty space. We don't need any more storage. We're trying to get rid of stuff, not have more storage. Uh, what you think of me? Well, I'm like probably a little over halfway removing this old stainless steel water tank. Can you guys see it? But I ran out of cutting discs again. So instead of running to the store today, I'll do that on the way home or on the way to Sierra's house, parents' house where we're staying. I'm moving on to the next project, which is removing this diesel heater right here which we have never used, it's not hooked up, and we never plan on using it. And who knows if it even works, so... It's just extra weight on the boat, just like that tank. Just getting rid of it. <laughs> it's 
take it out. Whoa, it's heavy. Is it really? Yeah. Another 20 pounds. Yeah, 20 pounds off the boat. Wow. Boat day like five in the boatyard. Let's get to work. Today we're going to be taking the crossbeam off, so I'm going to take all the components off, take the force day off, and then we'll pull it off. In the meantime, looks like they're putting that boat in the water, should be pretty cool. So we're taking, this thing is called the Seagull Striker, or Gull Striker, or Pelican Striker. Um, as don't opposed to strike any pelicans. as opposed to a dolphin striker, which points the opposite way on some monohulls with big bow spritz to counter Ooh. the four stay load. <laughs> so we're taking this off. We just took the four stay off. The point of this thing, this whole system, is the four stay pulls up hard on this beam, and this pushes back down on that pole. It's getting a little dangerous around these parts. Lifeline is off. Trampoline's gonna come off. We're losing workspace. There goes my paint job. <laughs> Thank you. Some deep pitting here, some deep pitting here. Hmm. Crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for being you. Being you and being there and always watching our videos. We seriously could not do this without you guys, like especially all the upgrades and improvements we're doing to the boat. It's pretty much directly funded from you guys and from everyone who shops in the Tula shop and from everyone who uses our Amazon affiliate link. And our lovely patrons. I know. You guys are awesome, so thank you guys so much, yeah, especially our patrons. And thank you for being patient, because some channels that have it really scheduled out where they post every single week at the exact same day and the time, but we make our videos right before they're posted, because we're busy doing other stuff, like fixing the boat, so. Yeah, we were, we were pretty consistent every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. 
Then I skipped a week and now we're back to like one to two days a week. So you got a video today because it's raining and we couldn't stand, so thank the rain. If you guys want to support these videos, there's a few ways you can do it for free. It's so easy, just make sure that you give this video a thumbs up below. Comment, you can comment, say hi. And share this video with your friends. If you know anyone who's working on their boat or might appreciate all the work we're doing in the boat yard right now, just, just share it over to your friends or on your social media account. That helps a ton. Another huge way that you can help out for free is shopping yeah. through our Amazon affiliate link. So the link is right below here. All you have to do is click it. It won't show you like you're shopping through Tula's page or anything. It'll just bring you straight to Amazon. You do your normal shopping shopping and we get a tiny bit of commission from whatever you buy and it's no extra cost to you and it helps us out a lot all these little percentages really add up and let us buy some paint and sandpaper and stuff it's, it's right below it says Amazon affiliate link just click that do your normal Amazon shopping no extra cost to you and it helps us out a ton if you get a chance and need some shirts or sweatshirts because I know it's cold in other places right now you can go to the tool shop and check out that stuff we got some new stuff up there we got some bamboo cutlery set that a lot of people have been loving and are 100% cotton tote bags, which has a pretty cool whale shark design on it. If you guys want to become a patron, just click the link below. Patrons get some extra special stuff. If we happen to have a video done early, like this one, they'll get it like two days early. They get inputs on like designs and colors and that sort of stuff, so. Discounts to the Tula shop. And if they have any questions, we we try to answer right away. So yeah. they get a little special privilege. Patrons really help us out a ton, so if you guys want to consider becoming a patron, just click that link below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. And stay warm. Stay warm, yeah. Stay dry if you're in Florida. Stay warm if you're anywhere else. And we'll see you guys next time.